Number 86. During the discussion of gaseous diffusion for enriching uranium, it was claimed that 235UF6 diffuses 0.4% faster than 238UF6. Show the calculation that supports this value. And then they tell us that the molar mass of the 235UF6 was basically um, this number, 349.034348 grams per mole, and the molar mass of the 236UF6, they just did the calculation right here, but basically the molar mass is 352.041206 grams per mole. Okay, so all we have to do is just show the calculation to support that 235UF6 diffuses 0.4% faster than the 238. Okie dokie. So when we're talking about rates of diffusion, they said the word diffusion, we're talking about gases, we're going with the rate formula with gases, which is the rate of effusion formula or diffusion, but it's basically this one right here. Now it may look a little intimidating, but I promise you not. The hardest part here is just knowing that when you have your two components, A or B, the information crisscrosses, okay? So whatever you label as A, the information has to crisscross for A and the same thing for B. Now, since they said that 235 UF6 diffuses 0.4% faster than 238, this number should basically be in a numerator, right? If I wanted to express this as a ratio, I would put 0.4 divided by one. So since we're talking about this diffusing 0.4% faster, I'm going to put this one as the numerator A and the 238 as the bottom B for the rate. When we're talking about, you know, what's going faster or slower, that's the rate portion here. So I'm just going to just label it out that A is the 235 UF6 to whoop, 235. And then the B is what it did it say, 238 UF6. So in this case, I'm just going to show the calculation that will get me to 0.4%. I'm going to erase A and B, and I'm just going to put the uh, UF6. So this would be UF6 235, and then this would be UF6 238. Now in this case, remember the reds crisscross. So now since I'm talking about A down below here, I have to put the information for the 235 UF6 down below. MM just means molar mass. That's why they gave us those molar masses. So in essence, what we have to do is we just have to square root the molar masses of uh, 235 UF6 and then 238 UF6. So let's see, if I just erase the bottom one, remember this one is the red one, 235 UF6, they say the molar mass of the 235 one was this amount. So 349.03 four, three, uh, four, eight. The hardest part is, is making sure that I have all the right numbers in the right places. Sometimes my eyes, they trick me. 349.034, three, four, three, four, eight. I think I got it. And now let's do the top one. This one is the 238 molar mass. So they told us that was 352.041. Four one two zero six. Okay, so now let's just see what this actually equals, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say that we have the rate divided by another rate, and then we have the two thirty five U F six, and then on the bottom it's the two thirty eight U F six. And let's just see what this actual number comes out to be if we calculate it, right? So we have the square root of, here we go again, 352.041206 divided by the square root of 349.034348. 
And I get, let's see. So this top, the actual answer is 1.004. 1.004, we'll, we'll cap it as, right? But if this is the case, I could just put this as a one to give the ratio. And now the numerator goes with the numerator and the denominator goes with the denominator. So it makes sense that the 235 UF6 has a higher number because it weighs less. And in this case, it says that the rate is 1.004 times faster than this. But now if we want to express it as a percent, right, we would have to see what is the difference between the two of these. Difference. Well, this is 1.004, this is 1.000. So if we just subtract them, that's where we get the 0 0.004. And now if we wanted to just make it as a percentage, remember all we have to do is just take that number and times it by 100%. And that's where you get 0.04%. So in this case, the rate of 235 is 0.04%. If you're looking for, actually, hold on. This would be, yeah, this one. Did you catch it, guys? If I move this over two spots, I get just 0.4. So there you go. And now that matches with this. So basically, if you wanted to use it as a ratio, you would end it at this but if you wanted to put it into a percent, you have to take the difference between the numbers, meaning subtraction, and then just times by 100. And there you go. Okie dokie. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.